I'm Stacy Miller. We're on my dairy farm. Uh, we have a family farm with uh, little or no hired help. Uh, we milk around 90 cows right now, um, give or take a few. A 700,000 gallon lagoon built last year is part of a five-year, $3.2 million Lower Mississippi River feedlot management project. Straight up uh, eight foot side concrete walls, um, with flat to the bottom uh, with a ramp that uh, you can get in to clean out. Local soil and water conservation districts work directly with the farmers. Projects are funded equally by the Minnesota Board of Water and Soil Resources and by the Natural Resources Conservation Service. With enough storage, farmers can spread manure when it's most needed and less likely to run off. It solved one of the biggest problems I had in the farm, and that was manure handling. All through the summer, having places to spread the manure, you know, between hay crops, you know, always was a challenge. Um, anybody who does it knows what I'm talking about. Um, you have to have a place to, to store the manure for 25 to 30 days between hay crops. And, and then if the weather isn't perfect, you know, it's, it's tough to get it hauled before you get the regrowth on the hay. Um, this way, now that's not such an important thing. You know, I can spread it if the conditions are right and I have time. And if I don't, then I can put it on in the fall. It's a lot less labor intensive. I, a lot of my hours in the day were spent hauling manure. If somebody takes over the dairy farm, um, they're going to have things a lot nicer than I did because there's a parlor here now, there's a, a manure storage facility. Um, yeah, a lot of things that uh, uh, I think a lot of people would like to have.